make sure that our phones are on silente. My phones are on loud, yep. The test, right? This is the test unit. The color might be a little too off, like, because you're getting a really harsh light on your left side of your face there. Yeah, I'm pretty white. Like, look how much space I got, dude. Uh, like, I go like, oh, you can what's up, dog? You know, like, I got space. I think it's okay, I don't know. Well, yeah, I did definitely tilt towards you a little bit. I'm gonna grab my water. You're not loud. Oh. Don't pay attention to me. Just slowly breaking things. That's actually not a bad idea. Like, if we put it... Let's look at that. Oh, this... Oh! I was looking for this. This is for the chest mount. This is that oh. little piece that goes for it. Yep. This is important. I need to keep Wanna, it. Wanna put, uh, put that somewhere? Just wallet it, so... <laughs> Poop it out later. Keep it safe. Yeah. Yeah, let's get this... Shit. Well... Does it still work if it's on I think it, Yeah, I think it still works. I think you're still good. But I get what I you mean. I want to talk to you. I know what you mean, but how do we do that? Because, like, Joe Rogan would definitely do that. He'd be like, he's always talking like this, and he's always looking. Yeah. But I feel like we need, we need to open ourselves up to the camera, or else it just looks bad, you know? I wonder if we could use fucking GoPros. I just hope it won't look like, like, it won't be that cop-out look where you go in an IMAX theater, and then it's like IMAX cameras switch to, <laughs> switch to GoPro footage, you know? What was that the uh, second Hobbit movie? Second Hobbit movie. What was the second one called? The Desolation of the Smog. Des it, maybe it was the Desolation of Smog because it's when they go uh, to the barrels. Yeah. No, yeah. it's definitely the second because the, the third one, one called Unexpected Journey. Unexpected Journey, yeah. The Unexpected Journey, and then, yeah, the Desol Desolation of Smog, and finally the Battle of Five Armies. See, oh, that sucked. reading the book, I do not remember the Battle of Five Armies at all. Like that was the last thing I remember. The thing I remember the most it was the. Uh, the, the trolls that was my favorite scene I remember the trolls because yeah. they call back to it in Lord of the Rings and yeah, that's my Lord, favorite in Lord of the Rings you, uh, you see, see the, the trolls. trolls that's so fucking cool like that yeah. that was probably like my favorite are you gonna watch the um, Amazon Lord of the Rings I mean Rings? yeah but I don't know how I feel about it like I I don't want to be one of those judges that just say it's shitty and that it's I'm a purist I'm not I, I fucking I just want to see some good Lord of the Rings you know what I'm saying so hey I'm glad someone's picking up the reins with it and doing something with the property yeah. uh, do you know who's directing it is it some guy to do with, uh, are you asking or you know? I, I, I don't know. Um, no, I don't. But I'm thinking, oh, for some reason I have it in my mind that it was somebody from, uh, what's that other popular one that ended horribly and everyone hated and you oh, read Game all the Thrones. books? Game of Thrones, yeah. Really? No. I, wasn't it somebody to do with Game oh, of Thrones? Oh, it might be. Or maybe it's just the studio, because isn't it like HBO or Amazon or something? It's, it's Amazon, because I know uh, Jeff Bezos, I think I read an article, he paid like a billion dollars for it like he's like i'm a lord of the rings fan i have fuck you money let's make lord of the rings he wants his own sweet games what can i say you know like i was chasing after it you what's know? amazon's biggest tv show you think it was probably like that when it came out that uh the office guy did like a oh tom jack clancy ryan? yeah jack ryan tom clancy's jack ryan thing right yeah i think um that new one not jack ryan but the one with michael tom... b jordan no 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 like tom reacher tom jack reacher jack reacher with tom cruise no, with uh, the dude from Blue Mountain State. Like, oh, like yeah, the, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Dude. He actually, oh, I was on my YouTube and uh, he popped up and he was on a podcast talking about the dark side of Hollywood. I don't know if it was from that because oh. he's pretty big, you know, like he's he's actually local too. He's done like CW shows. He was a uh, hawk guy in the DC series. Okay. Uh, hot guy. <laughs> very hot guy. No, wait, hawk or Hot. <laughs> Hot. No, Hawk. <laughs> what a shitty superhero. You don't know Hawk guy? DC super DC I know DC superheroes better than Marvel superheroes. Actually? Just because I played DC Universe online that, that video game. But like a didn't you can name more DC than Marvel? 100%, 100%. Really? I know the stupidest most obscure uh Ms Ms Kip Maslick. Mr. Mixy Spitlick. The Leprechaun He's in just DC. Saying random letters. No, nah, dude, I'm going to look this up. Ms Ms but What about all, all the X-Men? I know a few but like I don't know. Like, the, probably the most obscure mutant I could name is Squirrel Girl. And did you know the Squirrel Girl defeated Thanos? Yeah. How? Call She's a bird, squirrel. Dude. Yeah, honestly, like Ant Man. Um, but no, seriously, Squirrel Girl was actually an original Avenger too. I think. I actually, I think you're right. I think I think she is. I don't know. Um, I, don't, I don't really know Marvel that well. Unless I'm just confusing her with the Wasp, but the Wasp is also like up there with original Avengers. I think. I don't know. 100%. Yeah, Wasp is original. What's the most obscure character you can name from Marvel? Don't say Morbius or Mobius. Mobius. <laughs> Villain, I guess. Actually, no, he's a hero. Anti-hero, I would say. kind of cute. Yeah, he's a piece of shit. No. Yeah, fuck him. Um, I don't really know any of the stories, but I'm I guess we could say, like, Howard the Duck, but, like, he's he's not that He has obscure. his own movie, though, so it's like, I don't know. He was That was, like, the first Marvel cinematic movie, you know that, right? <laughs> it actually, technically, like, I think that predates everything, including, it might. including I, I like... I haven't seen it. You haven't seen... 
Dude, my dad showed me Howard the Duck. There's duck nudity in Howard the Duck. That was weird. I hadn't seen a lot of nudity mm-hmm. in films before, and then I saw Howard the Duck. Like the donk? No, there's uh. Like duck dick? No, there's duck nipples. There's girl nipple. He's like looking at a duck playboy, and he's like, he's like, whoa! And then you actually see it, and it's just like, it's like this weird. That's why everyone thought it was so weird because it's duck like, have nipples? No, this is like a weird humanoid duck. Oh. And like it was, it's this weird uncanny feeling because he's like a puppet too, but it looks really good. I don't think. Yeah, I definitely don't think ducks have. Nipples. nipples. No, they, they definitely they, don't. They lay eggs. No, they definitely don't. Yeah, it was just one of those things. I'll I'll, I'll see the or find the, the little snapshot here for you. Let's give you a little uh, little yeah. excitement for you. Do, How do was you think, duck? Do you think with you shaking the leg it'll affect the sound? Fuck. Do you think it is? I don't know. Let, I'm gonna look. I'm gonna look back now and see what year did Howard the Duck come out? Ninety six. Damn, you're ten years off. Eighty six. What? It's an early film, dude. Nineteen eighty six. Nineteen eighty six, dude. Oh my god! It has what's her name in it too from uh, Back to the Future. Oh, was Robin Williams Howard the Duck? No. No. Wait, who is? Oh, Wait, is Ed that... Gale. I don't know who that is. Oh, Chucky. I'm not gonna oh. lie, Ed Gale kind of looks like Howard the Duck. I wonder if they did that on purpose. No, they got. Oh no! Uh, it was like two Howard the Ducks. Like uh, was Ed Gale and Chip Zine. Maybe one Zine? of them was the animatronics. Oh, there's Not actually a lot of um little people. Oh, like, uh, like Willow. Yeah, there's one, two. Yeah, there's two separate How are the Ducks. Wait, I'm pretty sure you're supposed to say dwarf. I'm pretty sure little people is offensive. I know midget's offensive because I, I watch dwarf Net- isn't. I know dwarf is, isn't. Is little people? Little people is offensive. No, I'm no, no. Sure what about the TV show Little People Big World? Is that actually a thing? Yeah. Oh, TLC. I do, I do know what you're talking about. Because I specifically didn't say midget hmm. because midget is offensive. Is I'm little f- people PC? How are the terms dwarf, little person, and person of short? <laughs> didn't finish. I need to see that. I need to finish that sentence. It's loading. Person of short <laughs> stature. I don't know. Person of short just ends there. I'm gonna change my Wi-Fi. Person of short. Person of witness. Yeah, I identify as short. Here we go. Uh oh yeah, person of short stature. Yeah, that's that- what I said. How are the terms dwarf, little person, and person of short stature commonly used? I, I know you can't call This doesn't give me an answer. Oh dwarf a midget, because that's offensive. Yeah. <coughs> that's definitely the one of the worst See, things to say. I always thought Respectability. Here we go. Dwarf was offensive because like yes, Lord yes. of the Rings, but it's I actually dwarfism, White. right? Like dwarfism is yeah. actual thing. Yeah. Well, I would think that would be more offensive because I always think of like the uh, Snow White and the uh, Seven, Seven Dwarf, Dwarfs. Yeah. Because yeah, I'm like, oh, like, and when I think of dwarf, I think of I think of fantasy world stuff. Yeah. You know, I think of yeah. Uh, Can you elves name the Seven Dwarfs? Dopey, sleepy, happy, grumpy, happy. You said happy. Damn. Prancer, dancer, <laughs> vixen, <laughs> common. Honestly, I get them mixed up too. <laughs> the reindeer and the dwarves. I don't know. They're kind of yeah, like... dude, you got to read this. Do not crouch or kneel when speaking to a little person. Appropriate terms include little. Per- okay, so little person is appropriate. It says person of short stature, dwarf, or LP. LP. Little person. <laughs> Though it is most respect- respectful to refer to someone just by name. The word midget is considered highly <laughs> offensive. I wonder, like... So, little person is good. I was like, wrong. Why is midget offensive? Like, it, obviously well, it's same, offensive. Well, same reason like, why? why any word is offensive, right? It's just people put meaning into it. That's all it is. But what does midget mean? What does agabadiff mean, you know? It's just fucking words. Agabadiff. Ca- agabadiff. It's every good boy deserves fudge. Right? Oh, yeah, agabadiff. Agabadiff. It's just meaning to... So, we just put... Oh, What's that from? My dog is still barking. Um, It's from, like, every teacher ever, you know? I'm, yeah, I, I gotta go get my dog. Oh, yeah, dog. You keep uh, keep the camera. I'll, I'll keep talking. I'll... So now we know what the proper term to say when addressing uh, LPs. Yeah, a fucking midget. Wait, <laughs> I can't say that. Um, <laughs> yeah, okay, that's that, that, LP. That's the end of that. I like that. But how are the duck? Where were we with that? <laughs> duck nipples. We were talking about duck nipples. We we're talking about superheroes. Yeah, superheroes. podcast. Um, so yeah, like. I like looking at you. I do too. Yeah. Because like, like I want to talk to you. Because I feel like my this, body wants. I feel to like be this, this is way. distracting. Because like, I know my body like, wants to be. this I can way. sit like this, but then like I'm like. That's exactly man- that's what I'm doing right now. But I feel like a man spreading. You know. That's like a what good if, point. That's like a what good if point. I was wearing a skirt? Like, we'll, we'll have like you, me, plus three, so five. You, me, plus three. Yeah. And Dupree. <laughs> Who is Dupree? Owen Wilson. You, me, Dupree. Yeah, Owen Wilson. Yeah, I, I love that guy. So, I love yeah, that. Yeah, because like this is this is not bad. Um. 
Oh, four four attacks. Don't I'll answer that later. No texts for me. I don't smoke dope. I don't drink bourbon. All I want to do is shake my... You have reached the voicemail box of... To leave a message, wait for the tone. If you want to leave your number only, press 1. 7. 7? What? Hi, this is uh, Zach from Honey Mustard Media. Hey, Olivia! Uh, that is Harrison from Honey Mustard Media. We are wondering if um, we can book you in for a time slot, approximately two hours, maybe three, who knows, to see if you wanted to come on our podcast to be our first official guest. Thank you, goodbye. Beep! You're our favorite artist. Woo. Mike Placement on that side. I think... I think... Here? Maybe. Because I can just, like, not hit it. Well, I can also do, like, this, too, you know, and then, like, flip it up, right? This was this is how I would set it up, basically, like this. Could... Oh, they're literally right behind Faster. you, yeah. You don't even need the mic. You can just, yeah, get the stand. Maybe this looks more professional, though. You know, putting it up know. like this? I don't know. I don't know. I don't think it needs to matter. Do you know what's not professional? Me fucking breaking the mics. Ah, it's not broken. What are you doing? You're not breaking them. No, I'm just... Just manhandling them. Do you know what I do? Whoosh! So you're telling me to, to, to go on the uh, underside? See, like, uh, but uh, if we talk about a story, let's say, and we use people's names, yeah. we'll just be like, hey, we'll block like, out this name. Like, Burt Kreischer and Tom Segura. They're fucking Two Bears, One Cave. They do it all the time. Uh, I don't know who they are. I've never heard of them. Why yeah, I know, right? So... That one is a weird one. I think, uh... Oh, it's fucking hella bent, too. That's why. Is it? Right there, it's bent. I don't know. I think we might need to... We'll play, like, because that is an interesting angle. Like, it might be a little in your way. The mic, yeah, I, I think it is. That's kind of a pain. It kind of sucks. I think that that is, like, one of the reasons why I want to turn the table, or like, sideways. But, like, it's still a problem if we turn it sideways because we still got to solve, like, the issue of, like, where is everyone going to go? Oh, I know what you mean. So it would be, like... So it, You're the camera. So the table's sideways. Yeah. Like, like, like right now. Sideways. And then one person here, two people there, one person there. So it's like a horseshoe. Yeah. Are we done with this setup? Do we think this is... Because, like, for two person, like, this is two pretty decent. Two person is great. But um, then, like, think of it. If it was, um... The other way would be facing. Or it would be, like, like falling across from each other. Like, be, oh! Like, two, two people across. And then, if it was a guest, uh -huh. we could maybe put the guest in the back. So, we're, like, we're focused on the guest. And the then guest. we're just on the other side of the guest. Oh, interesting. Okay. Yeah, I'm down to flip this around. Try that out, then. Yeah, let me try that. Uh, I'm gonna unplug the mics. Just okay, so, so should we stop the recording? Uh, yeah.